How would teams do if the NBA season ended today and the playoffs started that the same day, today? So these are the seedings and all the standings for the entire NBA. I made sure it's all accurate. Uh, so boss, let's let's all start for the East. And welcome to the channel if you're new. I'm Nikki, and I'm the best YouTuber ever. Well, the best basketball YouTuber ever. Soon to be number one all time. Yes, I only have 53 subscribers. But that's because nobody watches my videos, and they don't know how underrated I am. And they haven't subscribed yet, so make sure you hit that subscribe button before I get into this. So, yeah. So, I'll start off with the East. This is going to be a quicker video, but it's whatever. I want to do it, so I'll do it. Starting off in the East, we have Boston in the first seed against Philadelphia as the eighth seed. And then in the next round, it's Brooklyn as the fourth seed, facing Atlanta as the fifth seed. And then Cleveland is the third seed, facing Indiana as the sixth seed. And then Milwaukee is the second seed, facing Toronto as the seventh seed. And then in the west is New Orleans as the first seed, facing Portland as the eighth seed. And then in the next round, it's Denver as the fourth seed, facing Sacramento as the fifth seed. Then it is, in the next round, it's the third seeded Memphis Grizzlies facing the six seeded Utah Jazz. And then in the last round, we have the second seeded Phoenix facing the seventh seeded Dallas Mavericks. And if you're seeing this later, this is as of 5 16 on December 9th, 2022. <laughs> so if these changes any time after tonight, I know a lot of games. Uh, I know a lot of games are playing tonight. They're probably some playing right now. No, not right now. But I'm going to be at one tonight. I'm going to be being at this Cavs game versus the Kings. So, yeah. This is as of before the games are starting on December, Friday, December 9th. At, this is 5-16, so I'm recording before any NBA games. So do not clown me in the comments if they're wrong. If they change, that's not my fault. That is, that is the NBA because they're playing the games. They're not up to my schedule. So, yeah. We are going to see good, just go round by round and see how this goes. We're going to go in the first round. Cleveland has been eliminated. I just selected them because it made me two. There was a few upsets. The eighth seeded Phoenix Suns beat the first seeded Boston Celtics in six games. And James Harden, I guess he did. He, James Harden, very good in the playoffs, and he probably led the team. And there's, uh, looks like uh, Joel Embiid wasn't here. So, And for the Celtics, Jason Tatum averaged 43 points a game. 11 rebounds, 4 nets. Yeah, he did crazy. Jaylen, who did bad? Let's see who did bad. I mean, Jalen Brown did fine, I guess. Uh, he just shot a, just a tad bit worse from 3 and all that. But it's, who cares? Like, he, he did fine. And Malcolm Brogdon did pretty good. Uh, Derek White did fine. Uh, Daniel Gallinari. This is the problem. And he's I think he's injured, right? Yeah, I think he's injured. So I think he's going to be all gone for the rest of the season. So he came back for the playoffs, and he sucked. So maybe he's the problem. Marcus Smart did his, fun, did his thing on defense and all that. He did his thing. Robert well, Williams, uh, he was injured, but he still did fine, I guess. Still got two blocks a game. Al Horford. Shot a little bad, so maybe it was him too. And I'm not going to do this for every round, trust me. Uh, and then, oh, I'm not going to go through all the stats, how about that? And then, the fifth seeded Atlanta Hawks bit, beat, not bit, they beat Brooklyn Nets in seven. And then Indiana beat Cleveland in six. And Toronto beat the Bucks in six. I have Milwaukee winning the championship this year. Well, well, that's my opinion. I think they're going to make it to the finals, but it literally can be anybody, like any team, or like well, not any team, but like any like solid team in the top eight, or whatever. Like, there's a lot of teams that can make the finals. Like, it's so good in the past four or five years. It's been a di like a different team has won each year, like since like 2019 or something like that. It's been Rap Raptors, uh, Raptors 2019, Lakers 2020, 2021 Bucks 2022 was Warriors, and then this the past four years it's been different. Each year, 
So this year, it literally could be anyone. It could be, uh, it literally could be Boston. It could be, uh, maybe the Cavs, but probably not. It could be the Bucks again. I don't know. There's, it's so cool how it's been a different team every year, so. And then, so in the East, in the second round, we have Atlanta versus Philly. And we have Indiana versus Toronto. The 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th seed all, all made it past. And then in the Western Conference, New Orleans beat Portland in 5. Uh, Sacramento beat Denver in 5. Utah beat Memphis in 7. And Phoenix beat Dallas in 5. Sorry, I just have a little bit of a cold here in my bed. I'm just sorry, I sniffled there. And so Utah made it, which is cool, and Sacramento made it. Sacramento's having a great season, and I'm going to be watching them play tonight as a Friday. So this is pretty cool, and let's get on to this next round here. And so Indiana beat Toronto in, in six, four to two, and then Philadelphia swept Atlanta. So it's the 8th seed and the 6th seed here in the Eastern Conference, so Philadelphia versus Indiana. And in the Western Conference, uh, New Orleans beat Sacramento in 5, and Utah beat Phoenix in 5. So it's New Orleans and Utah here in the Western Conference Finals. This is going to be a very interesting matchup, because considering their best... Uh, uh, wait, I don't want to simulate that really quick. I'll just simulate the round. Mike Conley... One Western Conference Finals MVP. <laughs> Listen to this. Would you say this one, Western Conference Finals MVP, 12.5 points a game, 2 rebounds, 9 assists, 1.5 steals, 40% from the field, and 33% from 3. Would you say that's worthy enough to win a Western Conference Finals MVP? Even I don't, I don't know. I don't really like this award. I think it's stupid. Just keep the Finals MVP and keep all of that, and they recently added the top seeded person in the NBA, they, they get their own trophy. I, it's sure, whatever, I don't know. But I think the, uh, who won the East? Well, Joel Embiid won the Eastern Conference Finals MVP, averaging 30 points, 12 and a half rebounds, four assists, a steal, and two blocks. This is more worthy of a Conference Finals MVP. So, and Philadelphia beat Indiana in six, four to two. And Utah beat New Orleans 4-2 to two in six games. So we have the 8th seed and the 6th seed in the finals. So, yeah, let's look. Look at the starting lineup for, uh, for, the, for Utah. Mike Conley, 81 overall. Jordan Clarkson, 80 overall. Taylor Horton Tucker, 77 overall. Jared Vanderbilt is an 80 overall. And Walker Kessler, who had a solid game, I think. Maybe last, last night, I think, maybe. And he's a 77 overall. It's, is that, that's not a finals team deal. And then the Philadelphia is James Harden, Tyrese Maxey, Tobias Harris, who should be possibly upgraded to like an 84. That's what I think. And P.J. Tucker and Joel Embiid. I think Utah's going to take it. I don't know where... Uh, um, I don't know where... Um, uh, what's his name? where what his Lori Markinen is, but I guess this team is able to beat um, the first seed in New Orleans Pelicans. So let's go game by game here. Philadelphia takes game one, game two, uh, then it's 2-1, it's 3-1 Philadelphia, and Philadelphia is the championship. If the, okay, Philadelphia wins the championship if the season ends today. The eighth seed wins the championship. James Harden finals MVP, 32 points a game, 8.5 rebounds, 15 assists, and a steal and a half. 64% from the field and 52% from three. And they beat the Jazz in five games. Okay, so that usually this is the results if the season ended today and we started the playoffs. The Jazz are, and Jazz in Philadelphia are going to make the finals. That is no question asked. Just they're going to do it because... You know all of my videos are proven to be 100% accurate and ev no, no questions. 100% accurate. This is what's going to happen. Be ready. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave any other suggestions in the 
comments below any other video suggestions or maybe if you just like the video or you want to hate on me either one go ahead make sure you like the video or leave a dislike I don't care I'd prefer the like but do that because it really helps and if you it, I'm sure you did like the video so you know you did like the video so leave a like and share it with your friend because they're probably gonna like it too and make sure you smash that subscribe button because you definitely like the video and it's worthy of subscribing because I'm the best youtuber out there and I'm gonna be number one as coming from me the number one youtuber number one basketball youtuber better than everyone out there so thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next video peace